Cue the Barry White, because it's about to get sexy. So I'm at Old Mill Pond in Lindell, Texas, and uh, I'm going to get this blacksmithing shop set back up and operational. It's got a couple tools in there that need to be fixed. Um, a couple of the power hammers, we're going to get those back into working shape. Sort through all of their tools, um, you know, do some general maintenance on everything, and then make it to where they can have me or other blacksmiths come in and, uh, yeah, work. Show people how to do it. You know, a little bit of exhibition. muggy this morning but that's to be expected here in East Texas. We're getting everything cleaned up. The floor's cleaned out now. We can start moving stuff around and getting a little more organized. They've got a bunch of different useful tools here and they've got some tools that just don't belong here. So we're going to go ahead and try to organize this to where it's kind of a, a useful workstation and also still can be like, you know, they, they still need to be able to present all this cool stuff to the public. So, so we're just going to get this set back up to where it's actually functional and usable. One of the first things I want to do is get the power hammer lubricated up and see if we can get it to kind of start moving. As you can imagine, I go straight for the power hammer because I'm a guy. All right, let's take a look at it. Okay, so this thing has probably not been used since the 50s. It's in pretty rough shape. Um, it has had some repairs on there. They look like they'll probably hold. We may have to fix them in the future. Um, you know, some, you know there's, some, there's some pretty thick welds on there, and they're stick welded, so they're probably okay. But more than likely, it was done in you know, someone's farm. I'm going to use deep creep on this, so this is a really good penetrating lube. It's a little expensive, but it really does work really well. I've had some tough bolts that I've soaked in all the other kinds, and I couldn't get them loose, and this works. So that's what I'm going to use on this guy. So before we hit it with a grease gun, we're going to get some penetrating oil on it. What I would like to do is take these grease certs out and spray this stuff in there, but I'm nervous that if I try to take these out, they're just going to break. So we're going to leave the grease certs in for now. And I'm just going to try to get this penetrating lube everywhere I can on any surface that's going to be moving. And we are hoping that this thing will just break itself loose. Oh yeah, look at that go. Now it's bouncing. You see that? Now let's come down here to the head. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got movement. This is excellent. This would not move before. Now we can't just beat this down because what will end up happening is it will get to its lowest point. This is where it wants to be right now. It'll get to its lowest point and we'll start bending stuff. This has to rotate. You can't pull this down without that rotating. And you can't do that backwards. So we've got to be careful. Alright, now we'll go up. Okay, what I'm looking at, I'm making sure that these are rotating, that it's not putting pressure right here on my shafts and that these are rotating inside and all of this is rotating properly. I can also see when I hit this a little bit of rotation here, okay? So this is good. We just want this to start washing away all that built up rust. So we're going to see about getting something on here, maybe a wrench and see about getting some rotation action. You want to pump away on this, Terry? Certainly. I'll hold it, you pump. How about that? I'll be glad to. Go for it. Ready? Yep. 
Oh yeah. Coming at you. Beautiful. Squishing out everywhere. Good. Oh, yeah. Time to go stick a tube in. I think we're out of grease. Yeah. Intermission. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this important message from our sponsors. <laughs> All right. You find them, I'll pump. <laughs> All right, go for it. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, it's coming out this side. Yeah, it's coming out this side too. That's okay. good. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's going in that one. Go up a little. Beautiful. All right. Wow. Good job. Look at it. Oh, you're making any noise. Oh, slick. And uh, let me get a spray. Spritz in there. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead and give it to her a little bit. I want to see if she'll go down by herself. There, <laughs> she's going. More back up. Yeah, keep going. Same direction. Let's we'll see if it'll pull it back up. Oh, she is starting to slide. All right, keep going. The rust is <laughs> It's breaking loose, isn't it? Yep. Easier. Is it getting easier? <laughs> <laughs> let me uh, let me get some more grease in there real quick. Go for it. All right. Beautiful. Oh, it's coming out both sides now. All right. God, it just it's just moving real easy. Amazing what a little bit of lube will do. <laughs> this piece could talk, it would say thank you. <laughs> what are you doing, Terry? Oh, we're getting loosened up. We're uh, almost new. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing some life back into her, huh? Did you think this old machine would ever crank? I did not. I thought they should scrap it, but I'm glad they did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the easy one. Wait till we get to that hard one over there. Uh oh. Oh, it's getting easier and easier. I'm very excited. We got that sucker working. All we need now is to slap a belt on there and maybe get that lister running and uh, we'll have a working system. As of now, that was my main goal that I wanted to achieve today was to get that sucker operational. I'm so excited about it. So there might be a little bit of time left to organize and maybe, maybe even play a little bit. All right. Man, I've worked up a sweat. It's awesome, loving it. Okay, so this table behind me is full of various types of tools and tongs, right? About half of them are stuff that we're just not gonna use. So we wanna clear it off so that we have a nice workplace. And uh, this is a good solid bench. We're actually probably going to mount our, our vise, our floor vise, sorry, our foot vise to this bench. And we have four to choose from. So we'll also go through and figure out which one of those vices is going to be our vise. And um, we do have other mounting options. So I would honestly, I'd like to have one of those foot vices at every forge in here. That way you have different working areas so that, it, let's say you have three blacksmiths out here doing exhibitions. They're each going to be able to uh, uh, have a spot to work from. So. All right, excellent. Let's start cleaning up. So just as I was firing up the forge, uh, the blower went out, so the gear mesh is off. So it's not meshing right. Some problem in there. I didn't want to come out here today and not light a fire. <laughs> I would have been thinking about it all for two weeks. It's two weeks until I'm back here. So next week, sawmill repair.
I have a feeling we're going to be making a lot of tools like this one. I'm making a coal rake so that we can manage these coals. So stay tuned and uh, we're going to be bringing you guys some more videos from this forge as well as all the other stuff we do. <laughs> as, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. <laughs> hey, I put a link in the description for uh, for some of that sea foam so that you guys can get some of that deep creep if you like. If you got some, some stuff that's like really locked up and you can't get it apart. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and thumbs up and leave us a comment. We really do try to respond to all of them. And also, uh, if you like our videos, support us on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.